Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be taking a look at a pipeline strategy. So far we have created a very simple pipeline with only one task that run tests, but we're going to put the regression test today. And now we can you're going to have multiple test tasks running. Therefore, it's important for you to have some sort of strategy. Are you going to do inline one depending on the other? Are you going to do uh, uh, parallel tests? So when you should you use one and when you should you should use the other one? So that's what we're going to go over today. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos. And I'm going to be posting the links for the previous videos so you can keep it up. So let's start. So basically what we have here is, and this is, we created last video and I'm going to post the links here so you, for you. We have two, two jobs, the build and the Santi, and you have a workflow, which is our pipeline, one depending on the other. If you take a look at our uh, circle, we have, this is what we have right now. So what are you going to do? We're going to introduce the regression one. Right, so we're going to add, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to call this regression test. Here is very sim similar. Uh, I'm going to be calling this regression cucumber tests. And this, this is just the label, like the name. I'm going to call this regression test. And this is actually the test running. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, choose, insert the regression here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put regression tests. And I'm going to say that requires, and it's going to require the sanity test. Right. This is going to make this right. So this is going to be we have a a build that's going to run after it runs is going to run the sanity and after it runs is going to run the regression. Right. So this is what we are building right now. So I'm going to push this and I'm going to come back as soon as it finishes. So we pick it up and now you can see to have build we have something have regression so in everything it's one depending on the other exactly as we draw so we have build we have then sanity and then we have regression right so uh yeah i'm going to I'm, i want to show you the regression uh i'll i'll be back as soon as it finishes as well so the regression finished uh if you take a look here we have uh, 14 tests running and you have the artifacts and our artifacts has only two tests, two features, the animal feature and the pet feature, right? Um, if you take a look at our, our Santi test, our Santi test has four tests and it has other ones, but it's not the same as, as the, the regression one. And that's what we want, right? Great. So what kind of different pipelines that we can have, right? So I mentioned that we can run in parallel, but I did not mention that we can filter, right? And none of the things that I can do is I can filter tests. So let's say I want my Santi test to only run uh, on a specific build, on a specific branch. So I can say this, is going to be filter. I have going to have a filter that's going to be filtering by branches, and it's going to run only on the main branch. And why would I, I would like to do that, right? So you might have some jobs that only require to run on a main, uh, on a main branch. Uh, it can be related to costs as well. So you don't want, if, if cost is not a pro problem, 
you might be able to you you can run in ver uh, various branches uh, this is going to speed your process right you don't have to merge a branch to to run your pipeline uh, you can run in every branch uh, also uh, when you think about which kind of uh, artifact you want to promote you do not want to promote an artifact uh, that comes from a branch right like in prom by promoting I mean uh, upload to artifactory you only want a branch you only want uh, to promote artifacts that came from the main branch so you can filter these here right so in how that's going to look like i'm going to come back as soon as i i finish so you can take a look here that only the build one ran only the build job ran i, I can change this so let's copy this and i can change the main to the actual branch that we are working on and i can push and i'm going to come back and now you can see that since we are we are using the branch that is the branch branch that's being filtered by we have access it's running everything right but we don't need to filter because we won't be filtering so this is one of the strategies that you can use the other strategy is doing parallel work so one of the things that i can do is i i can say that i want uh let me go back to my drawing i can say that i i don't want this what i want is regression to be ran in parallel with my sanity right so and how do i do that is just the uh requires i change my require to build right here so it's going to depend everything's going to depend on build now that we can take a look here when i click on the workflow you see that those are in parallel and if we wait a couple of seconds this is going to run uh, both at the same time bear in mind that this is a free account and in free account you don't have some of the priorities right so you can see that's waiting if my account was not free you would not be waiting you would be running straight away the same here as in my regression you won't you wouldn't be waiting right but they are running in parallel as you can see right awesome but Rafael, why would I run in parallel? This does not make sense, right? Because Sanity is a subgroup of regression. So what I wanted to do is I want to run my Sanity and only if it passes, it runs my regression. Otherwise, it fails. But when you're talking about unit test, then it makes sense to run in parallel if I have unit tests for my back end and if I have unit tests for my front end. So I can show you how that would look like, right? In my drawing, you'd be something like this so i'm going to delete this so it'd be branches then uh, uh build then i'll do unit unit test ut right i would also run in parallel with uh, front end unit test fut Right. And after these runs, I would I would call my API test. And now after that, my regression. All right. So that's basically what I want to to do right now. Right. So this is running in parallel, and the reason why it's running in parallel because those two are unit test. So I can run those in parallel, and only if those two works passes then i call my next phase right i don't want to call my next phase if only this passes or if only this passes because if this fails and this passes uh doesn't really matter right i only want to pass if those those two passed right. so how we can we, we can do this right i'm going to create a couple of um uh dummy uh dummy jobs so i'm going to create some dummy ones called unit tests uh this is going to have a docker image just because i need a container to run uh, it's going to have some steps and the steps is going to have run in just a echo 
unit test. I'm going to duplicate this. This is going to be front end unit tests. And this is going to be front end unit tests. Now I can define my, my strategy. So now I'm going to put my front end here and my unit here. I need to tell the dependency. So this is going to be, uh, the build is going to be required for this. And the build is also going to be required by the front end, right? If I didn't do this, like, uh, then you would not have this clear dependency here, right? I need to make those of those two dependent on build. Now my sanity is going to be dependent on my unit test, but also on my front end because I want to have this, right? I want to my sanity only to be executed after these two. And my regression is going to depend on my sanity. So now when you take a look here and open the workflow, you can see that it, exactly as we draw, just a little bit better than what I draw. Uh, and you're going to see that the build ran and now those two is going to run in parallel. See those two exactly, they ran in parallel, right? And after they finish, now it's going to run my sanity, right? Sanity to 80 and now it's going to run my sanity, my regression. So you can, you can have a different strategy there if you'd like right so as 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 best as you can uh but this does not matter because these two for us uh doesn't do anything this is by build and this is by sanity and there you go and i'm also going to remove this because this is done it's not doing anything right but there is one thing that's bothering me is because we have we have so many duplicate stuff Right, so you can see that our setup, our our container setup is, is duplicated, right? It's duplicated in the sanity and it's duplicated in the regression. In my build is a little bit different. I only have one image. Uh, so that only that's going to uh it's going to be different enough. Right. But since we are using YAML, YAML has a way for you to create variables and you can reuse those. Uh, like, uh, you can create a variable that means a, a whole block of components, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say that I'm going to create a, I'm going to call something just to exemplify. And I'm going to give it a name called container, container setup. And now I'm going to define what is that setup. And that setup is Docker all the way to steps. Make sure that identification is correctly correct, otherwise it won't work. And now I can come here and I can say, this is the, the pattern that you're going to use the, 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 the block, the default block that you created. So this is container, now it's, it's container setup, now it's yellow, here is also yellow. Right, so this is going to work. And if I'm going to, oh, I need to also change this on my regression and I can remove all this here. If you take a look here, it's working, right? But there is something that's still bothering me. Here we, we just said something. I, I, I just wanted to exemplify that doesn't really matter what you're going to put it here because this is just for the structure of the YAML, right? What, what really matters is this, but it doesn't really make much sense to put something here, right? So the pattern, when you do this, you just dupli duplicate this just to be more meaningful, right? So now we can actually push again and it's right here, right? So yeah, so now we have a clean YAML, right? So it's much smaller the 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 job on both because we have a way to have uh, a block variable, right? And it's much cleaner this way. Right? So thank you for watching. 
If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the, notif the notifications of my next videos. If you like it, give the thumbs up. And it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. And I'm going to see you on next video.